आर यू ऑल रेडी यस विशाल इज एब्सोल्युटली रेडी वाई क्रोमोजोम इज एक्ट्रोसेंट्रिक उच्चतर ग्रुप ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स सिद्धार्थ गडम इज प्रपोजिंग डी एंड जी वेरी गुड Arshad is saying C and G. All of you want to bet on B, ah? Huh? It is the D. Arshad, please give one big clap to Arshad Muza. No, no, not Arshad Muza. Somebody else who said D. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Typically, group D is 13, 15 are acrocentric. Group G has got 21, 22, which are also acrocentric. that is all the robertsonian translocation no doctor in down syndrome right so down syndrome may two acrocentric chromosomes typically will undergo a fusion leading to the development of the um, downs now of all this which is not developing from second arch who is going to give me the correct answer please punch the question number and shoot your answer yes manoj takur priya commandant kushbu arora very good shivam sharma shivam sharma want to say c ye oh 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 there is a volley shibanu jatiwala yes guru shravan excellent it is the posterior belly of digastric which comes from the second arch doctor so what comes from second arch you have to remember 4s s for step is s for styloid s for smaller horn of the hyoid s for superior half of the hyoid and stylohyoid ligament are the ones from the second arch for whom the seventh nerve is called the nerve of the arch and stapedial stylohyoid possibly of the gastric they are all the ones involved and stapedial artery is called the artery of the second arch it is the exam time baby you need to you need to be ready vibrant on those uh, on all these things uh, you have to set up bronchial arch derivatives you should expect it to come in exam and when it comes attack it like dangal offense only beta defense nahi hai offense lena huh now the next question very good most of you are differing between b and d gangadeep singh and everyone excellent nucleus pulposus is considered to be the remnant of the notochord neural plate will be giving rise to the neural tube and neural crescents and notochord becomes the nucleus pulposus is what you have to ultimately remember iska answer karo yaar this is the challenging question i want to see the number of online viewers shooting to 500 plus call your friends pass on the link to them paracortex of lymph node come on priyanka is proposing antigen presenting cells shivam sharma also saptarshi das is presenting quiescent b cells from tomorrow i will appreciate if you mention along with your name while you are entering you mention which city you belong to kolkata delhi like then it will be like uh, 2020 match डेली वाले करेक्ट आंसर किया या जयपुर वाले करेक्ट किया या चाइना के बीजिंग वाले करेक्ट किया यू विल बी एबल टू नो फ्रॉम टुमारो लॉग इन विथ यूर सिटी नेम एक्सलेंट मैक्रोफेजेस यू डोंट फाइंड डॉक्टर एनी बडी आंसर डी नो चिराग गोयल आंसर इट एस डी इफ यू लुक एट दी टिपिकली द लिंफ नोट you have a paracortical area this one which is called t dependent then you have a medullary area which is called the b dependent b cell dependent you have a cortex area which is also b dependent is what you have to basically remember now if you look at uh, the sinuses they contain the macrophages that take up the antigen fundamentally the marginal sinus sinus ke andar macrophages then the uh, paracortical area contain different cells and um, um, the 
cortical area contain different cells. So, this is a lymph node architecture is a favorite question of the examiner doctor. Next, this you should answer correctly. Let me see how many of you will go right. Hazel's carpacules, what are they made up of? Hazel's carpacules, question number 278, Praveen says T cells, Vishal T cells. Nadim, absolutely right. Give one big clap to Nadim. Excellent. Epithelial cells. You should not do mistake in this last moment of exam. The Hazel's carpacules are all the, you can remember Nadim cells, epithelial cells. You should not forget. If you do certain questions, doctor, which are so called stock questions, if you do wrong, no. No worries. Quickly go. Lymph node thymus histology. Very high yield topic for the need PG. A chai pe chercha hamara khatam ho jata na bhi. Uske baad dinner le lo aur bad jao and finish at least that particular topic. Why I should do wrong? Why Nadim should do it right? That is how you should uh, take it uh, positively. Bony labyrinth. What is the correct answer about the bony labyrinth, which is the favorite question of the examiner? Yes. What do you like to call the bony labyrinth in the ear? What type of bone do you like to consider? Crea says cancellous. Lavanya also says cancellous. Manish Ranjan says compact bone. Right? Kiran Balani says compact bone. Sindhu Lakshmi is clean bowl. So, Kiran Balani Jindabad. So, compact bone. Please don't forget, doctor. What do you have in a compact? You have a compact bone, you have a spongy bone. Then, uh, if you look at the cancellous bone, also called um, uh, a spongy one, it is highly vascular. It has got a red bone marrow and it is used for bone grafting. Whereas 80% of the weight of the human skeleton is basically by the cortical bone is something which you should not forget. 325, very good. Now give a great answer for this simple, stupid, irritating, small question. Gemellus inferior muscle. What is your answer? Vishal says obturator internus. Manish Ranjan says quadratus femoris. Quasi Shanbaz also says quadratus femoris. Satyam also says Jab Satyam bol diya Satyam kya hona hai? Truth. Dr. Satyam Jindabad. Quadratus femoris. The nerve to quadratus femoris. Don't forget doctor. Favorite question of the examiner. Superior gemellus muscle, naru to obturator internus. Inferior gemellus, naru to quadratus femoris is the one which basically supplies. You should not basically forget. Now, this question you should answer correctly. Medial longitudinal arch of the foot. These are all the principal supports except what? Sorry, I forgot to type except, but except which muscle? Let me check what is your answer. Sharik Nadim says tibialis anterior. Uh, Revati says peroneus longus. Shivam also says the same. Sachin Agarwal says peroneus longus. Very good, very good. Generally, those who answered B, why you answered B, I know. You think if tibial is posterior and anterior is given, answer is lying there, bol ke hamara imagination chalte reta. That is called as going to entrance in a defensive approach. Nay, offensive jana, peroneus longus is not the part of the support. What is the main support of the medial longitudinal arch, doctor? Spring ligament, plantar fascia, abductor hallucis and flexor digitorums. Brevis, they are called the spring ties. Then tibialis anterior, 
and tibial is posterior and flexor hallucis is longus. These are called the supports of the medial longitudinal arch. Mainly you should remember tibial is anterior, tibial is posterior, medial ligament of ankle joint. Peroneus longus and brevis are the support for the lateral longitudinal arch. And for the transverse arch, peroneus longus is the one which is considered to be the support. Take a pen and paper and mark. Okay, this is a topic. Let me quickly finish here after uh, the dinner after 8 o'clock. Right? Now, epiploic foramen. Let me check how many of you are right. Epiploic foramen. What is your answer, doctor? Should be one strong answer. <clears throat> uh, yes. Avinash, everyone is saying chordate process. They go metani pinto. It's a simple question where everyone is sure that it is chordate. Those who answered option A, prognosis jara gadbad hai, you have to. Arise, awake and revise. So, anteriorly you have the portal triad, epiploic foramen co. Posteriorly there is an IVC. Superiorly there is a caudate lobe of the liver. Inferiorly there is a duodenum spus part. They are the boundaries of the epiploic foramen is what you need to remember. There is an area called torus aorticus in the right atrium. Why this torus aorticus arise? Because why this bump arise? Abhirami Amritalingam. Uh, that was the old old answer, eh? Okay, okay. Uh, Kriya says right posterior sinus. Kunjit also says right posterior. Sindhu Lakshmi clean bold as usual. Right. Then Ganga Deep coronary sinus. Come on. Do wrong but not very bad wrong. Priya also is clean bold in this. It is the right posterior sinus and the cusp of the aortic valve which lead to torus aorticus. See so typically there is a bulge in the right atrial wall. Some of you are going to become finest cardiothoracic surgeons in a short period of time. By the time you finish your MCH CT surgery, I will become ready for a bypass. So, that's my deal to you. At least you don't do mistake with my aortic, uh, torus aorticus, right? So, torus aorticus. There are a lot of people who are running coaching programs across country. They charge some money and uh, obviously we also charge when you take a subscription on the U Medico. We are no uh, noble hearted people. Please don't get confused. So, somebody called and said, Hum yaha one week crash course ke liye we are collecting fee and there like a hero you are coming every day and giving a free class. Are yaar, amare, amko, don't give tough time they are saying. I said we will give free class across here. Jo bhi karna hai karlo. Right? Knowledge is supposed to be at least free. Right? So some of you after entrance is over you have that passion to teach please come. And uh, this floor will be with you by the time the teacher become more older. He may not have energy every day. But you need to take up and then continue this tradition of evening 6 to 8 p.m. Right? Torus aorticus is right coronary. Please don't forget. Where does parotid duct open? Eto, bilkul easy question hai. If you are shooting this wrong, Yes, if you are shooting this wrong, you are having a child pukes cirrhosis prognosis of uh, grade 4. Yes, 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 yes. Everyone says C. Yeah, somebody, few of you are saying B. Upper second molar tooth, opposite that it will be opening into. Easy question. Ye batao yaar, iska answer kare to aap uh, anatomy mein mahir hai. Huh? Yes. Parotid, the, in, the incudo malleolar that is between incus and malleolus. 
वॉट इज द टाइप ऑफ साइनोवियल ज्वाइंट इसका आंसर बोलो देख लेंगे शिवम शर्मा आई एम लिजनिंग सी एंड डी सी एंड डी सी एंड डी प्रियंका से सैडल ज्वाइंट दीपेश शाह से सैडल कमांडेंट से सैडल प्रियंका से शैडल सैडल इज एब्सोल्यूटली राइट हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट प्राउड ऑफ यू गाइस सो प्लीज वॉट इज सैडल घोड़े के ऊपर सवारी करने के लिए सैडल लगाते हैं ना हम इसे सैडल के जैसे बैठ जाते सैडल ज्वाइंट सो टिपिकली यू हैव मेटाकार्पल्स एंड कार्पल्स कार्पो मेटाकार्पल इज वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए सैडल देन यू हैव ए मैलियस Incus and stapes. Accordingly, you have a malleo incus, right, and incuo stapedial. But there are two different types of joints. Incuo malleolar joint jo hota na, ye dono ke bich mein. That is considered to be saddle. But incuo stapedial is not saddle. It is ball and socket. So please don't forget, doctor. One question, jaroor puchega. इसके लिए इंटेलिजेंस का इतना भी जरूरत नहीं है बट इफ यू डू रॉन्ग यू विल बी बिहाइंड बॉल एंड सॉकेट इज शोल्डर हिप कैलकेनियो क्यूबॉइड एंड इनक्यूडो स्टेपीडियल नी टेम्परो मैंडिबल आर कोंडेल आर एटलांटो एक्जिल इज एलिप्सॉइड सिमिलरली मेटाकार्पो फेलिशियल एंड रिस्ट कार्पो मेटाकार्पल इज सैडल बट मेटाकार्पो फेलिशियल इज एलिप्सॉइड एंड ऑल्सो द रिस्ट ज्वाइंट Interphalangeal is hinge, elbow, ankle also hinge. Atlanto axial, superior and inferior radio ulna or pivot, and thumb and sternoclavicular and incudo malleolar are all the saddle joints. Next week onwards, you are going to bookmark and set up an alarm. It keep popping up. Uh, you will be sitting on a candlelit dinner on the pool side with the girl whom you are going to propose. immediately you medico will ting pop up hey man doctor ravi what is the incudo malleolar do you want to be reminded will say please shut up and uh, you will pop out the ring immediately it will ask what will be the joint between incus and stapes do you know that so it will be bothering you right so that is a kind of a artificially intelligent uh, you medico app we are going to give you next week 